Subscribe to KSKYL and then click on that bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. What's up guys, KSKYL here. In this video, we're going to see how to install a TWRP custom recovery on Xiaomi's Redmi Note 4. So this is a step-by-step, -step, a detailed installation guide. So make sure that you watch the entire video. Let's get started. Hey guys, so this is the Xiaomi's Redmi Note 4, a Snapdragon variant, so Indian variant only. So this guide is exclusively for the Indian users only, so do not try to attempt on any other device. So basically, in this video, you're gonna see the installing the custom recovery, aka TWRP, on this Redmi Note 4. So guys, make sure that you watch the video till to the end because very important steps that you need to follow before installing a TWRP recovery. So, but first and foremost, make sure that your device has an unlocked bootloader so if your device don't have an unlocked bootloader so if you first unlock your bootloader and then try to install TWRP so if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader I already made a separate video you can see the a card over somewhere scrolling on the screen also you can find the link of that video in the description then again if you go to the about phone you can see I'm running the MIUI version which is a MIUI global 8.1 a stable ROM and by the time of the recording of this video so in your case it's going to be the uh, different so the thing is we will not going to be flash the uh, TWRP over the uh, stable ROM so because it's going to be a uh, get you into uh, some kind of random error so basically I've been training this kind of the problems from a lot of time so we can be flash the developer ROM and then we're going to install the TWRP over the developer ROM so whenever we are updating our phone from stable ROM to developer ROM it is always a recommended a 100% recommended that you need to make a complete backup of your device because if you are updating your device from stable ROM to developer ROM this should gonna be wipe everything that means it's gonna be erase all of your internal storage you will be lose everything so try it on your own risk and if you lose anything I'm not responsible for that so make a backup of that so then after that go ahead and download the a developer ROM from the link in the description and place it on your internal or the external storage so I definitely recommend you to copy it to the external SD so this is the file that looks with like a 7.2.16 and it is based from Android 6.0 Marshmallow so make sure that you need to download this file only do not try to download any other file so once you download the files go ahead and open the updater app inside the uh, tools folder then on the top right corner you can see the a uh, three dot button Click on that three dot button and it's gonna be uh, bring you the uh, sub list. Click on the uh, choose update package and then you can navigate for the file which is a zip file that we copied earlier. So this is the file and uh, there we go 7.2.16 select that file and then click on uh, OK. So this is gonna be um, uh, wipe everything off your uh, device and uh, it's gonna be update your device to the uh, developer ROM. So once it's done I will be right back with you guys. Alright guys, as you can see, it's uh, complete successfully uh, booted into the uh, developer ROM and then I'm going to also uh, bypass all of the uh, welcome screen so that you don't get any bother with this one. So once you successfully boot into that and we go to the settings and then we look for the about phone, then you can see the uh, my UI version, so which is a 7.2.16. So tap on that uh, seven times, you can see the uh, developer options will be enabled. So then uh, back to the a system so we are not going to be doing anything with the developer options I just just go ahead and turn on that one for some reason so back to the uh, system so on your system so we need to download all of the files required for this installation procedure so go ahead and download all of the files and place it on your desktop and uh, you should need to download around uh, four files uh, drivers as well as ADB and fastboard so these are the files that are required to download uh, this is the uh, main TWRP recovery image so as you can see the code name will look like this middle that means it's an uh, Snapdragon 
second variant and then you need to copy the lazy flasher zip file to your internal or external SD so the file look like this this is a lazy flasher uh, zip file go ahead and copy it to your internal SD so I'm gonna be delete that because I already have a install copied it my device now once you uh, go ahead and do that and gonna be we can install the ADB and Fastboot on our system because it's important. Uh, without ADB and Fastboot, we cannot do anything. So we're gonna need to flash the TWRP over the ADB uh, over the Fastboot mode only. So go ahead and right-click on the ADB as setup and run it as administrator. And then inside the uh, command prompt, you're gonna see the uh, beautiful interface. Here you're gonna type the uh, type Y for yes and N for no to install ADB and Fastboot. In the next line, it should ask you to install the ADB and Fastboot uh, system by right? just type Y. Uh, this will going to be allow us to access the ADB and fastboot throughout the system using the command prompt. In the last but not the least, a type Y to install the a default uh, Google driver that is important for any Android device. Go ahead and click on next, and then you can see the uh, finish. So then we are done, and our system is ready, and we have successfully installed the ADB and fastboot. And the last but not the least, you need to install the uh, Mi PC shoot because this contains the uh, drivers uh, relating to our device. If you don't install this, and uh, you will not gonna be able to uh, get your device inside the fastboot mode. So go ahead and install that drivers. And um, back to the uh, camera view, so on your phone, go ahead and turn off your phone completely once you turn off your phone uh, completely so now we need to put our phone into the a fast boot mode we're gonna use the a physical keys for this hold the a power as well as the a volume button both buttons at the same time hold it until you see the MI logo and then let the keys go on now we can see the device is in the fast boot mode. That's gonna be uh, look like this. It's gonna be look like Android logo over there and written fast boot over there. Take off your USB cable and connect it to your computer. So on your computer, hold a shift and then a right click and then you can see the open command window here. Click on that and this is gonna be launch the command window on the current directory. Now here inside this uh, command prompt, you can type the uh, fast boot devices and then tap the and, and then press enter if you see this reference number that means we have installed the driver successfully on our computer if you don't see that make sure that you install the me pc shoot so then if you type the dir it's going to be a list of all of the files so copy this file name a twrp and then i'm going to type this command fastboot space flash space recovery and then type twrp and then press a tab key it's going to be autocomplete and then press enter this will going to be install the twrp recovery onto the redmi note 4. so now we are successfully done flashing twrp so now we need to boot our device into the twrps for this hold the power button as well as the volume up so keep holding until you see the MI logo and then let the keys go on. So this should gonna be boot your device into the ATWRP recovery. There we go. So when you are in the TWRP recovery, so the last one important step that you need to do is we need to flash the lazy flasher. So because if you forget this step and your device will gonna be stuck at the a boot logo and it will not gonna be boot into forever. So navigate for the file that we copied uh, earlier, so which is a, a lazy flasher. So go ahead and look for that file and then select that particular file and then swipe to confirm flash. This is an important thing. So if you don't do that, you will gonna be run into and many errors. So once you flash this, click on the reboot system and the last it's gonna be asked you, do you wanna install the TWRP app? So go ahead, if you want to, I want to install it and simply swipe to install it by confirming it. So anyway, so this should gonna be, uh, the video will gonna be completely done. And this is how we can install the a TWRP a recovery on the Xiaomi's Redmi Note 4. So if you have any suggestions, of any video in future so please let me know in the comment section below also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and make a more content relating like this so anyway thank you for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye bye now